Hi Leo, welcome to your December Capricorn New Moon Love Tower reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome and thank you. So Leo, we're looking at the New Moon, which can be about new beginnings, new intentions, setting new intentions uh, in Capricorn, which can be, you know, it does represent the devil in the tarot. I'm not an astrologist, just going to give you what little tiny bit of information I know just here to read the cards on the energy but it does represent the devil in the tower which could be maybe this could be about resolving some toxic issues but you know it is a pentacle energy which is all about um the Capricorn energy of stable grounded bringing new energy into this in a new um stable grounded way as well so we'll see how these energies play out and this reading could be good for really all of Capricorn season not just around the new moon all right for Leo Sun Moon Rising Venus male or female general collective rating only take it how it resonates for you including the signs mentioned everything you need to know is down below a playlist down there a list of readings I do here as well my other channel in your playlist there and also cross watchers you can switch it if you need to as well all right wow okay i'm feeling this one right here all right leo let's see hope you're all doing well staying safe and healthy at this time oh we have reflection illusion self-examination and distortion we have 13 which is four which is a stable ground in energy it's also about foundation all right so what is that about let's see what else do we have here so we almost ha kind of have that moon energy Purification, fire. Well, you are a fire sign. 14.5, which is about change. Bare essentials, the naked truth, and wholeness. Hmm. I'm almost feeling, um, and I think I got this for Leo, another Leo reading, maybe. Or it was Sagittarius. I don't remember about a distorted masculine and a distorted feminine. But I don't know. Let's see. Tree of Life 1, a new beginning. Fertility, creativity, destiny, magical blessings. Roots run deep here. Many, maybe past lives together as well. Hearts intertwined and connected. Star, wish dream come true. Balance with the yin and yang. I'm getting kind of like, like a, I don't know what that cross is called, with like the loop on the top. Um, I'm not sure, but I'm getting like a peace, peaceful feeling with that as well. We have intuitive communication, silent whispers of the heart, 43, which is seven, which can be, um, sevens can be a little bit of a stagnant energy, although it's spiritually divinely guided energy. I'm almost feeling like here, um, Leo, you've had a connection with someone here and you definitely feel like the roots run deep. You could have like a spiritual connection with this person because we do have intuitive communication. So you may be communicating through telepathy 5d um kind of energy as well but there's a need here to really um be very vulnerable and open sincere and like cleansing and just i'm feeling like there's been a lot of reflection about a connection you've had with somebody so not a lot of certainty not a lot of clarity not a lot of talk about feelings emotions what's actually what is this what's actually happening so there needs to be purification through you know maybe there's been a lot of fire passion lust desire so there needs to be purification over that um because we do have distorted there distortion so whatever this was could have left you feeling a little um beside yourselves i'm feeling beside yourself actually because you felt like this was a deep connection or it could be a deep connection but you still feel like um, you still feel like connected to this person because I see you communicating, even if it's not physically um, or actually in the three D. So there needs to be like bearing of everything, like with each other. That's kind of what I feel here. So there's been a lot of thought and reflection about this person. For some, it could be a twin flame. I'm just throwing it out there. It doesn't have to be, but I'm kind of feeling that energy as well. All right, well, let's see, because we have the tree here. We have, we have like trees in, in almost every card. So, and we have like two trees, two hearts. Wow. Okay, let's see, Leo. What 
do we need to know here? What was this number up here? 14, which is 5, which is about change. So let's see, we have 4, 5, 7, and 1. Hmm. Okay. 4, 5, 7, and 1. All right, so let's see. Four of Pentacles in reverse. It's been a lot holding back. That's about to end. Nine of Swords. So there is stress here, anxiety, page of Wands. But then we have communication coming in. Five of Cups that alleviates sadness. <laughs> Just saying. Hangman. So we have illumination coming as well. So, Leo, I kind of feel like here someone is not holding back anymore. So we are, you may still be thinking about this person at night. Maybe they even gave you flowers at one time, but you're thinking about them. Um, sometimes at night, staying up all night, can't stop thinking or having dreams. And, uh, you know, they've been holding back, but all of a sudden we have a communication, communication coming in that brings you out of sadness and illumination here, perspective, a perspective as to actually what the connection is, what's happening, how they're feeling. So let's see, we have Pisces, Sag showing up. Wheel of Fortune in reverse though. Two of Swords in reverse and the King of Pentacles. So I feel like you didn't feel like this would ever move forward with this person, like there was no hope. It was never going to happen. Two of Swords, but someone's making a decision here. And I kind of see this King of Pentacles as a very stable, grounded energy as well. And that could be that Capricorn energy we're talking about. For me, it's Virgo, but it can represent Capricorn. And we have Sag, Leo, Chris, Taurus, Scorpio, Queen of Cups. I'm almost feeling like this because I see talking to somebody here, revealing, yes, I had my shield up. I was protecting myself, my heart, my feelings, my emotions. It could be happening around this winter time because we have some snow here. But I've all along had these emotions and feelings for you. Because I see someone offering love here. So we have Cancer, uh, Virgo, or that could be Capricorn, Sag, Leo, Chris, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Ace of Swords. I did see the Ace of Swords in reverse, which means there's been a, not a lot of clarity surrounding their feelings, this whole situation, whatever's happening here. All right. Let's see. For some of you, this could have been um, something that's been going on for like four years four or five years maybe for some all right we also have sag pisces up here as well so what else do we need to know for leo and fire up there that's leo aries sag knight of cups in reverse nine of pentacles queen of wands that could be you for me it's aries but it could be you Eight of Swords in reverse, which is good. And the Seven of Swords. So I feel like somebody ran from this connection either because they had to or they had no choice. Or, they, or again, they were protecting themselves. Fear-based. But now we have coming out of that fear-based energy with the Eight of Swords in reverse. Queen of Wands. You know, very attractive, go-getter kind of energy. Could be you, could be them. Or they're seeing you as that way. Someone very inspirational, creative. Maybe a leader in some way, shape, or form as well. Very independent sovereign independent stable grounded and you have everything you need they're either in that energy they're seeing you in that energy knight of cups in reverse so i don't think you've ever been i don't think you've ever even dated this person leo but you did a lot of reflection on this person because somehow the f there was some sort of ign ignition here between the two of you if that makes sense we do have a rebirth here. I feel like this is a past life connection. I got this for uh, cancer as well, but um, rebirth. So that could be a return. You know, life review, relationship review, final decision. This is the judgment card. Six of Pentacles, equal give and take. Five of Wands. They could be worried about competition or um, conflict. Chariot, King of Wands. I don't think they're going to want to rush this. Uh, chariots in reverse. Uh, King of Wands, though. We got the King, Queen of Wands, both upright. So this is a match. And we got fire right there. So we have Leo. That's actually you. 
And again, maybe you stopped communication in the past because you just felt like you had to just live your own life, get on with your life and do you and not focus all your time and attention on this person. If it happens, it happens. It could actually be happening now. But I don't think there's going to be any rushing here. I mean, the chariots in reverse, we have cancer. Um, but then I see like a rebirth, something being resurrected here. Scorpio energy. Equal give and take, six of pentacles. Hmm. All right. Leo, so what else do we need to know here? What else do we need to know here for Leo? For Leo. New moon in Capricorn. Love tower. For Leo. Let's see. King of Pentacles showing up again. Seven of Wands. <laughs> Someone's coming in now fighting. Maybe they had to fight obstacles. Queen of Swords. Two of Swords in reverse. And the Wheel of Fortune in reverse again. So, again, I kind of feel like, I feel like you, again, put your sword up and said, you know what? Not that you're blocking the energy, because, I mean, I we see the intuitive communication right there. But it's kind of like you also are putting up a healthy boundary for yourself, your own personal energy and space. But yet still keeping that line of communication open to them, like telepathically, uh, whatever that is for you. Um, but you definitely made a decision here. Like, okay, if this does or doesn't move forward, I'm not going to, like, I don't want to say, like, uh, live my life solely for this. It's like, I'm still going to do me. But then I have this King of Pentacles here with the Seven of Wands, who is now maybe standing up for themselves, taking a stand. Um... And like fighting away energies that may have been holding them back. Seven of Wands can be about setting those healthy boundaries. Also fighting for what they want as well. So yeah, they've been protecting themselves. I feel like they're going to finally let their guard down because we have the Four of Pentacles in reverse as well. And I see them, you know, talking and letting that guard down and being very blunt and honest as well. And something around winter time as well. And I almost see that same energy here of the shield, the pentacle, being protective, but slowly letting down their guard. So let's see, we have uh, Virgo, Libra, Sag, Leo, Chorus, Taurus, Scorpio, Five of Swords, Six of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, in reverse. So it's been a long time coming. So things are going to start happening here, success here, in the Five of Swords. So there's been some conflict i feel either surrounding them or you with the situation inner conflict outer conflict maybe they had to contend with something here if they did they've done that successfully as well they're no longer investing in that wasting their time on that now they're moving in a whole new direction this knight of wands could be you leo or another fire sign for me it's sag going to where their heart and their wishes have always been the star healing balance Things meant to be divinely guided energy and there's that page of pentacles so you know letting that down the guard they're having some communication here so we have uh, that's the capricorn aquarius sag or that could be you leo wow all right so what else do we need to know here for leo what else do we need to know here for leo new moon and capricorn for Leo. Three of Pentacles. Growing, expanding, building. Seven of Pentacles. In reverse though. Six of Wands. Getting the same cards again. Five of Swords. And you just show me, <laughs> saw me shuffle. Wow. Ten of Pentacles. Wow. So if this person was married, I don't think they're married anymore. I think they're single. Uh, they're doing very well. They're successful now. They're no longer investing in anything of the past. They're definitely rebuilding themselves. They have rebuilt themselves. So they could be your energy as well. Six of Wands. I kind of see them, you know, pointing that wand in a new direction. So definitely here. Let's see. Five of Pentacles. 
they could have been struggling financially for a while. Maybe that's why uh, it's taken so long for them to make up their mind about what they want here. Ten of Wands. So I don't think they're being oppressed any longer. Page of Cups. Yep, yeah, they've been holding back, communicating as well. Two of Pentacles. So they definitely left an unhappy situation. That is for sure. Uh, so they you know, had a lot on their plate. But they're looking to the future here. Three of Wands. Wow. So let's see. Pisces energy. They could have been dealing with the Pisces or uh, water sign. Doesn't have to be though. All right. So let's see. Leo. Let's see what else we need to know. Like what else do we need to know? Leo, like what's going to happen here? Can we get a conclusion for this? For Leo. Spirit, please. Thank you. Well, there you go. Reuniting, dating, courting, getting to know each other, celebrating, and soulmate union. Oh my gosh. <laughs> if you subtract the two from the three, you get the Ace of Cups. And that can be the Five of Cups if you add it where there's the sadness. I think your sad days are over, Leo. Nine of Wands. I feel like you were ready to give up, but it's like, don't give up. Queen of Pentacles. We did see the King uh, right here. So we got the King, Queen of Pentacles. We saw the King, Queen of Wands. I think you're going to accept their pentacle, Leo. Eight of Cups. I feel like somebody was at a distance or walked away or maybe they had to. Why is that here? Ace of Pentacles, brand new beginning. They had to walk away to clear some energy away, but I feel like they're coming back. Um, and as I say that, they said pull one more. They're coming back with their Ace of Pentacles here. Wow, Leo. For you. I have a shiny brand new Ace for you, Leo. Pentacle. And it's right there. Wow, see, Capricorn. Wow, three of swords. Yeah, your sad days are over because there's the Ace of Cups. Oh my God. <laughs> Healing your broken heart. Oh my God. Knight of Swords is happening quicker than you know, maybe by Aquarius season. That's my Aquarius card. Rebirth of the situation, Leo. You thought it was long gone, Scorpio energy. And there's a balancing out of the energy. Wow. Let's see, we have Scorpio. Yep, this brand new beginning in love. Healing and mending your broken heart. Wow. I don't think they broke your heart, but it was just a very sad, disappointing situation, I feel. All right. So, Leo, let's see what else do we need to know for Leo. What else do we need to know here for Leo? Ooh, okay. So we have stand by your commitment. You're strong enough to keep the promise that you've made. Maybe I should put my glasses on. Don't back out now. Your angels believe in you. And pink is like new love energy for me. So that's why I feel like you've never um, been romantically involved with this person. But world energy. So even if you're at a distance, you still can feel each other's energy. You still can connect, communicate. The earth is going through a transition of energy and your sensitive body is feeling it. You're not alone except the help of others. You're both feeling it. And look at this. We have uni unity going from now, you know, falling in love to this deep, deep love energy here. You're spiritually connected to everyone. And I said being connected spiritually, telepathically, 5D. Use the sacred bond to heal your family, friends, and yourself. All right, let's get one more communicate with your angels i i'm still feeling like this communicating energy between the two of you you have the ability to connect with the beings of love who surround you communicate with your angels and deliver their healing messages to others it could be that your guides angels whatever are delivering messages back and forth to each other and purification by purifying your life of negative People, places, and experiences, you attain true peace. So that could be you, or maybe that's what they had to do. Purify their life, because we do have purification by fire. And then we have, like, this coming back together for you, Leo. Wow. Leo. Yeah, your sad days, broken heart is over, because there's a new love right there, Ace of Cups. So, Leo, on this channel, I will be um, doing only four readings a month now. There's still love readings. I'll be posting at night instead of in the a.m. Only two readings I'll be posting a day now. And also on my other channel, I'll be taking away the next big change and the message you need to hear. I'll still be doing money, career, 
and spirit message uh, but i'll be doing a monthly general over there and the readings over there are still only going to be like 10 15 minutes each and i'm adding a new reading and i hope everybody goes and checks it out it's going to be so much fun i can't wait to do them it's going to give you spiritual tools resources um energies signs to help navigate and um support you through the month maybe transform your month so i'll be pulling you a crystal that may really benefit you an archangel as well um numbers affirmation a spirit animal message um what major arcana may play a big factor for you for the month uh a zodiac sign that may play a big factor as well a chakra you may need to focus on or you that may affect you for the month as well if you tower to kind of pull it all together to see how the energy will work for you as the month uh, for the month as well so it'll be a lot of fun so i hope go and check it out and uh enjoy it so i am wishing you the best leo again everything you need to know is down below and i shall see you next time